Bayer Leverkusen The Werk self have on many occasions failed to win the Bundesliga even once. Back in 2002, they were close to grasping Champions League glory. Until Zidane happened. A new era is here though. The Maxwell era is now in Germany. More specifically, Leverkusen. Welcome to the FIFA 20 Bayer Leverkusen career mode. Now, before we get into any of the transfers, let's meet the starting 11. Lukasz Radetzky, our starting keeper. At 83 rated, he's going to be a big help for us in the defense. Especially since now, I have a mod on here that makes this game more difficult. <clears throat> I am not being sponsored. But, do you hate career mode right now? Do you cry yourself to sleep thinking about how EA just does not care about you? Do you play on the PC? Well, boys and girls, go download FIFA's Realism mod today. Get player faces, realistic banners, harder matches, and so much more. It's only on the PC, so please do not crucify me if you're on any other console. Link in the description. On to the back four. Wendell, Jonathan Ta, and the Bender Bros. For right now, we are going to ignore the Urban Dictionary definition of Bender. These two brothers are both 30 years old, both 80 rated, but luckily they do have different names. Sven and Lars. Both Benders are solid in defense, but we will definitely need to find some improvements because they're just way too slow. Jonathan Ta. I mean, there's, there's nothing else to say about this dude. He's just a brute. And Wendell, I mean, he used to have a high potential in FIFA 16. Midfield. Charles Arangis and newly bought Karem Dembibai. Arangis is a solid player, but at 30 years old, he will need at least a backup behind him. That isn't Julian Bumgarner. On the other side, we have Demirbai, who has a potential of 85, and I look forward to using this dude. I mean, 86 vision is going to make this man real fun to play with. Attackers. Wings are going to be real fun with an average pace of 91.5. Kareem Bellarabi will probably be exceeded by Paulinho. I don't know. But he's a solid choice as of right now. Leon Bailey has been a career mode prospect for years on end and is yet again 82 rated, 88 potential. He is indeed the real deal. Kevin Volland. White Lukaku. Oh, did I miss someone? Kai Havertz. Undoubtedly the star player of the club, avoiding FIFA for a second, he was ranked third last year in the Bundesliga top scorers. How old is this man you may ask? He's 20. 20 years old and he is already tearing up the Bundesliga. Currently at an 84 rating, he can go up to a 92 rating. Yes, 92. Am I excited? <laughs> Hell yeah. So before we get into any of our buys, let's see who we've sold. Joel Pojanpalo has moved on to Everton for 13.3 million. Alexander Dragovic is now Dragon for 12 million. Wendell is going to Turkey and we in return have gotten a little present of 22.6 million. I gotta, I gotta drink some water for this one. Introducing the shortlist. Reggie Cannon, suggested by Tim Woods. Funny this guy's name is Cannon when he's as fast as a bullet. Reggie Cannon, yes, he is American. I'm sorry, I have major biases. Leverkusen have a very slow Lars and a decent backup advisor. So I believe Reggie Cannon will provide a good bit of depth since our squad is as deep as a shallow pond. He's 70 rated and has a potential of 82, but he plays like he's 82 rated already. 20 million, done and done. Carlos Alenia, suggested by Will3185. Now listen, I know this isn't entirely realistic, but I want to let my viewers have some interaction here. But I'm still gonna keep it realistic, so if you uh, suggest me Malin, I'm gonna kill you. Born, fed, and raised in the Barcelona academies, this player needs to go somewhere else due to La Masia and the overall model of Barcelona changing. We like midfielders, and Elena not only will fill a gap, but will become an impact. His stats are nearly well-rounded, and that allows a lot of versatility within the squad. Bada bing, bada boom. Listen, I don't know what else I could have said, okay? 43.9 million well spent. Welcome 
to Vyakself, Nacho Fernandez. Now listen, I know what you're thinking. Nacho to Leverkusen? Yeah. Nacho is 82 rated and costs less than options like Elvedi, Stark, and Ginter. Not to mention, he can play at left back and center back. Is it realistic? No. Is it a bargain? Yes. He's not the speediest as a left back, but he's fast and strong enough to bully people off the ball. And with the incredible defensive IQ he has, he could be a star for our defense. Bueno. 20.2 million. Negociar. Well, boys. Welcome. To Germany. So a new addition to the series, I will be reviewing every youth academy player immediately after I sign them. Mainly because I believe the academy has the potential to play an important role in this career mode. Alright, it's game time. First up, opening match against Paderborn. Newly promoted Paderborn, so this should be simple. Oh! Well, this ain't good. First chance for us in the 13th minute, Leon Bailey running down the wing. He sees Kevin Voland in the middle, tries to get to him, but a bunch of just messy play. But just, we're just gonna ignore that because Kevin Voland has scored the first goal of the Leverkusen Bundesliga season. Seven minutes later, a chance for us again. It's a counter attack, and for some reason, Paderborn's defensive line were just all over the place. I mean, they were playing way too far up. And as a result, we take advantage of that, and Demirbai scores to make it 2-1 for us. It's okay. Opening matches don't always go our way. It's fine, okay? We just gotta bounce back against uh, Dusseldorf here. It took us a long time to actually find an attack because I hadn't played this game in like three days. But anyways, Leon Bailey trying to find someone in the middle of the box. Demirbai with the run, and Demirbai in his second consecutive game has scored for us, making it 1-0. Can we keep it up though? A couple minutes later, Demirbai passing it to Nadim Amiri. He's going to be pretty good for us. He's got 85 potential. Anyways, Bellarabi crosses it in for Leon Bailey. Nothing happens of it, but the defender messes up. Then Leon Bailey takes the shot. It's saved. Goes right to Kevin Voland. And Voland now has his second goal in his second consecutive match. Match day three, Hoffenheim. 26 minutes into the match, Rupp to Brennett finding Kramerich on the edge of the box. Kramerich then finds some space, takes the shot off the post and in. And it's 1-0 to Hoffenheim. Chance for us a couple minutes later, Hoffenheim making a couple mistakes, so we try and capitalize on that with Charles Arangis, and it is saved by the keeper near post. Into the second half, Arangis trying to redeem himself for the fact that he missed a clear-cut chance for us, finds Averts to Paulinho. Paulinho running down the wing, cuts inside, sees Voland. Voland turns, quickly takes the shot, top left corner. It is a beauty, and it is his third goal in his third consecutive match. Well done, Kevin Voland. Minutes later, counter-attack for Leverkusen here. Leon Bailey running this counter-attack. He's running past everyone, but wait, what's this? It's a penalty. And while I was distracted on the fact that I was just ranting on how bad this penalty system was, Bebu, with all the room in the world, gets past Jonathan Ta and shoots it near post and finishes and scores. It's 2-1 to Hoffenheim off the counter attack, some blistering pace, overpowering our defense yet again. But it's not over until it's over. Jonathan Ta to Nadim Amiri, Arangis, Voland, he's gonna run past his defender, take the shot, it's saved by the keeper, it goes right to Nadim Amiri, and Amiri equalizes it with two more minutes in injury time. And now boys, match day four, we got something special. Borussia Dortmund. 15 minutes into the match, Demir Bay on the ball is an attack for us. No, it, it, it's it's supposed to be a foul. That was supposed to be a foul. Depay skilling past one of our defenders. Brandt getting it right past the keeper. Yes, Julian Brandt right on his debut against us. Scores against us. What a what a great way to start the season, everyone. But just minutes later, Kareem Bellarami trying to scout someone out in the box. He can't, so he passes the defender back to Bellarami to Havertz. Demirbai. Demirbai sees Voland in the middle. Voland turns, gets past his defender, takes the shot off the post and in. And just like that, we've drawn level against Dortmund. 35 minutes played. Arangi's getting past the defense through this counter attack here. I'm not sure how he's doing that with. Not that much pace he has, but anyways, passes it to Havertz in the middle, Havertz off the post also, and he scores. It's 2-1 to Leverkusen in Dortmund right now. 
44 minutes played, Marco Royce splits it in the middle. I'm sorry, crosses it to Memphis Depay, heads it right towards the side netting. We got lucky there, boys. 45 plus 1, Demi Bai to Bender. Bender sees Bellarabi making a run, decides to pass it to Volin, who then passes it to Bellarabi. Bellarabi, with all the room in the world, can he finish it? No, and it's saved by the keeper. 50 minutes played, Delaney all by himself in the middle, all these defenders trying to get to him. Bender tries to tackle him, does a terrible job at it. Delaney takes the shot from outside the box, and it's a good save by Hiradetsky. 67 minutes played, Kareem Bellarabi down the wing, passing it to Kai Havertz on the edge of the box, who cuts inside, Bellarabi in the middle, passing it to him, shoots, scores, it's 3-1 to Leverkusen, and that's how it would end. Three points against Dortmund, in Dortmund, that is a perfect, perfect day. First Champions League match of the season, it's at home, and it's against Lokomotiv. Oh, no. <laughs> Two nil down against a squad that we really should be winning against. Yeah, that ain't happening. Next up, match day five, we play Union Berlin. Now, I'm I'm alright with Union Berlin just because, well, Bobby Wood used to play for them. And uh, if you guys remember Bobby Wood, he used to be kind of good for the United States. We also have the same birthday. <clears throat> Anyways, Kai Havertz passing it to Kevin Volland. Volland sees Demir Bai in the middle. Leon Bailey making that run. Demir Bai supplies the ball. Bailey making some room for himself. And he makes it 1-0 just like that. 10 minutes played, we're already 1-0 up, this is a good day. The day would get even better though, Bellarabi to Volin, Bellarabi in the middle, splitting the defense, and he makes it 2-0. 35 minutes played, a chance for Leverkusen. Yeah, I guess we just won't have a clean sheet then. Into the early bits of the second half, Bellarabi running down the wing, into the box he goes, gets fouled by the Union defender, and it is a penalty. Now can we convert this one? Now for my German folk, I apologize for having any of my American accent mix into your German pronunciations. I really apologize in advance for the next couple of episodes. Oh yeah, we scored by the way. We still aren't done though. Havertz passing it to Kevin Volen. Volen who's been involved in pretty much every single goal it seems like. Leon Bailey making the run, blasted into the back of the net, and that's his second of the day. He's on towards a hat-trick I suppose. A little bit later into the match, Havertz yet again just dictating this midfield it seems like. To Elenia our new signing, passing it to Leon Bailey. Bailey running past the fullback, takes the shot, into the back of the net again, and hat-trick hero Leon Bailey. I'm really liking that name so far. So guys, like I said before, we're going to have some Youth Academy player reviews. Every single player we sign into the Academy, we're going to review, basically. So here we have Cohen Gibbs, left winger. Uh, we have two left wingers already playing for us, um, but you know, it wouldn't hurt to have another one. He has a potential of 57 to 83, so he could be something maybe? Who knows? We'll see. Now for our last match in the month of September. Yeah, I know, it's, it's September. It's, it's a little crazy, I know. But we're facing Augsburg. 
I feel like we should beat this team. Uh, 31 minutes into the match, Alenia, our new signing, I have to state that every single time, passes it to Kevin Volan. Volan cuts inside, passing it to Alenia, shoots, scores off the post, and it's 1-0 thanks to our brand new signing. Right around the end of the half, Amiri passing it to Kevin Voland. Voland, who's he gonna scout out this time? This time, hits Havertz. Havertz takes the shot into the back of the net, and it's 2-0 to Leverkusen. Into the second half, Havertz receiving it from Leon Bailey. Back to Bailey, to Kevin Bolin, takes the fake shot, gets past his defender, and scores himself one. He has one goal and two assists right now. 61 minutes played, Alenia with a beautiful threaded ball to Kareem Bellarabi. Bellarabi with Volan in the middle, passes it to him, and it is 4-0 to Leverkusen. And just to put the cherry on the cake, or the the cupcake, or whatever you want to call it, Alenia scored again, okay? So let us review the table. I need to stop doing that. Bayern, of course, are undefeated. Six wins in six matches. They have 18 points because, well, as we all know, six times three is 18. Quick maths. Then we have in second place Leipzig, three points behind them. We are four points behind Bayern in third place, so it's a pretty good start for us. Then there's Werder Bremen in fourth, Dortmund in fifth, and Hoffenheim in sixth. So you guys remember Cohen Gibbs? Yeah, I don't know what happened. But now we have another addition. He's German. His name is Luke Scheibe. He's currently 53 rated, has a potential of 59 to 85. Much better than Cohen Gibbs. So, hopefully he doesn't die. Oh, he's also 14, by the way. Yeah, did I mention the mod also does that too? Link in the description. Juventus. Yeah, nothing happened. That's Julian Bumgarnlinger, and I think I messed up his name in the intro. I'm sorry, I'm not re-recording that, okay? As he's feeling pretty good in form lately, we face up against RB Leipzig. Now, as we all know, the German fan base, and I mean all of the German fan base, not just the German fan base, all of the German fan base, love RB Leipzig. Ah, you can just feel the love in the air. 15 minutes into the match, the first chance actually in this entire match. This match was kind of very slow for all of us. Anyway, Sabitzer gets past Ta, who really hasn't been doing that great. And, uh, yeah, Forsberg scored. I'm sorry, that took me a while to actually recognize. And like I said, this match was really slow, but Reggie Cannon was not. Look how fast this man is going. He passes it to Volin, to Diaby. Diaby could f Oh. 73 minutes into the match, Kai Havertz passing it to Charles Arangis on the wing. Arangis could cross it, but yeah, his crossing isn't very good. So he brings it back to Havertz, to Bumgartlinger. Bumgartlinger takes the shot, and who was in good form? Who requested to play? That's right, Julian Bumgartner. Don Maxwell. We got ourselves a challenge here. Frankfurt. 15 minutes played, a chance for Frankfurt already. Soler trying to find someone in the middle, can't do it, so he brings it to Gasinovic. Gasinovic crosses it in. It's caught by Hrdetsky. Yeah, something doesn't seem normal. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, he still hasn't scored. Oh. We practically give up the ball right after kickoff. Dost has a lot of room to score, passes it to Paciencia, and Paciencia makes it 2-0. But what's that? Can I hear a comeback? Scheiße. Wie Asa Germans, wo trägt ohne Wiesel Kart? Wie Asa Germans, wie Asa Germans.